I made this one right here. It basically is a, well, what is this? It's a dry erase board, but I bought it for, I think, like, 3 or $4 at Walmart. And I basically took a ruler and just made little lines for each month, for each week. And I added an extra week in there instead of four weeks. I put five just so that way I can have the extra 30 down here and then have the extra days, you know, in case we end here. I have the next week of the next month so I can kind of plan ahead. And then I just mark off each day and put the, the I put a line up here and left some space. So this is like a DIY. DIY. Um, do it yourself, but I mean it's super easy, super cheap. Three dollars, I think I paid for the most for this, and then you can just get a sharpie and a ruler. And for my notebook, this is my German notebook. I'm actually self-teaching myself how to speak German um, right now, just because I'm not in school and I'm taking it in the fall, and I kind of figure it'd be nice to once I get in the class to actually know something instead of being taught brand new because what it looks like I've looked ahead and it kind of looks like that I'm not gonna you know you're gonna have to know German before you get in there so might as well prepare but this is from last semester these are my um, syllabus from my teacher and as you can see I highlight the we the class when we meet the phone number of my professor the name the address of his prof uh, of his email which I covered at the end so you wouldn't really know what college I go to and the hours he's in his office Monday Wednesday and it's only by appointment and then I highlight as well the grading rubric of how I know it's kind of blurry I'm doing this on my phone but it's the grading rubric of how he grades and then I also highlight in different color like the grading is going to be in blue the important information is going to be in orange and then other info that might be kind of useful to me is going to be in green. And then again, important important dates and times are going to important things are going to be in orange, which is the exam day and the essay dates, the group presentation, things like that. And then in yellow is either going to be the outline or it's going to be like this is the required text so this is the book that I need for psychology which that has changed and then see there's an important date right there that's other course information I need to know and like I said again orange is important dates and, there's, and then of course I do like extra credit in orange because that's important but I don't do dividers with the little divider things that come over here because when I close my notebook I found that they sometimes stick out so when I put them in my book bag it kind of like knocks them and it'll make the little white pieces come out and things like that so I found this off of Daisy Contour, Contour I think is her name but I use she says to use like I think cardstock is what she says to use colored cardstock but I use I just use some construction paper because I mean that's all I had and it really doesn't mess up your printer or anything like that if you do if you put it in correctly and you cut it to size. But these were already these were eight and a half by seven or something like that. So it was already normal size. And then I just did I found and I'll put a link to it, a website that has these were these different fonts that you can just download for free. Which I got from Daisy Control again. And I just did a divider like this. And then I put one of these little sticky notes up here. And these, the ones that are rounded, mean that that's a section. And then these little, like, square ones right here. Um, there's a green one. Let's see if I can find one. Like, those mean, are little, set, like, dividers within the section. So, like, that purple one means that that's the first book I words. And then, let's see if I can get to it. The green is the other one. And these are upside down because I did not know what I was doing in Excel because I haven't used Excel in like two years. So I actually printed them the wrong way. And when I went to go put the hole punches in them, it ended up that it would have cut off some of the words. So I just put them upside down. I mean, whatever. I'm self-teaching myself right now. It's not. I'm not in school. And then this is lessons with another one of the rounded. And 
I color code need color coat these color um just so that way I can tell and like I'll start I started off with blue and then pink and then yellow. So yellow is notes and then I started off again with blue which is like worksheets um that I found online and then like in here yellow means that that's chapter two orange means that it's chapter three and then I mean you get the idea of chapter and then pink is chapter four um that's pretty much my notebook I don't use sheet protectors because I found with sheet protectors they do the same thing they stick out on the side and I you know I don't want to mess that up and then you know. here is a notebook that I've done for the fall I've already got a head for it let's see if I can get them like I made this one and this is my to-do folder um, just so that way I have what that's my schedule for the fall but this is why to do folder so I know what to do and what's due that day what I need to do things like that and that's gonna stay at home or it'll come with me one of the two but I'll probably just leave it at home since I have with the other folders since I have these these I took a vanilla folder or manila folder however you say that and I put so like I cut out construction paper and covered it up so that way it would look somewhat kind of nice and I color coordinated and matched these as well with my notebooks and with the courses that I'm taking. And these are going to actually be my folders for the for going to class because they fit more in my book bag. Because as you can see, I'm putting two classes in. So I have like two inch binders or one inch, I think it's one and a half inch actually, of binders. And then my site folder. And actually my site book is going to be in an actual notebook. So, this is a three inch notebook, and there's no way on earth that I'm carrying three notebooks and six books all in my book bag. That's ridiculous. So, I'm just going to take these mini folders and then my psych book and whatever other books I need. But this is going to be my German, and I just made these little dividers because, I mean, I'll, and this one does have sheet protectors in it because if you can find the folders that are like this where the three ring is on the back side of it and not on this then you can also flip this back and take notes like that but at the same time oh, let's see if I can get it back normal there it is but at the same time when you close it it doesn't have them sticking out so this one it was okay for me to use the sheet protectors and then like I said this said this is the class and then within it and I color coat these as well, just just because it's fun and it makes it more decorative and I don't know, it just helps me to stay focused and it just is cool for me. But it's orange and I chose orange for this because I didn't have any pink construction paper. And that's handouts, graded assignments, and like I said, I'll give you the link to the fonts underneath assignments. And then that's to study. And this is new. Um, I just made this one up this semester. And it's just what I need to study, what I need. Like, if a test is coming up, I can put whatever chapters instead of having to flip through my notebook and try to find it and all that mess. I can just put it behind this folder, this divider. And from there, be able to basically know what I need to study. And then I have a divider, another one of these, which I'm not really sure why I have that, but... I think I just did that to keep the paper separated. But that's my German. And because I'm taking 15 hours, which is like six classes um, this semester, which I'm in college, but that's a lot. And I didn't want to have six different folders. So I put one in here, five. Five classes. Five classes, but it's three hours each, so they're like 15 hours. So I put one in here, which is German, which is my last class. And then I put two in this folder. So this is geology, which I'm going to be taking. And it's, divided, it's by the pink, rounded. And then, like I said, it's handouts. And these are blue. It's not the same color blue, but it works. And that just, you know, it's the same concept. 
you have handouts, notes. I think this one is called Bubbles. I really like that font. And then the assignments. And I think that's called Yummy Cupcakes. And then study. This is, like I said, the new one. And then you can go to blue. Because I only have yellow, blue, and pink in these. Blue is for pink, is for psych. Which I'm probably going to switch those and put blue on the blue and pink with the pink. I don't know why I did that. But this is handouts. It's the same concept here. And this is paper I really like, but it's really expensive. And it's like, I think, 5 or $6 a pack of 150 sheets. But it's the reinforced. So when you go to pull it, you can't, like, it's not just going to rip out of your notebook. And I did, um, this was the example that I did where I took it out and hole punched it, um, like, directly. Because if you don't, then, like I said, that's going to happen. And then you're going to have, like, all this is going to be messed up because it's sticking out. Which is, that's why I left this like this. So I can show y'all what I meant by it hanging off of the side. But this is art history, which I'm taking. And it's yellow because these are, these are green and that's yellow and green was, like, the closest I could come. So I put yellow with it. And then I chose purple to go with the purple in here. And it's handouts. Same concept. Notes. All of that. And then I did environmental science with pink. Because like I said, I only have blue, yellow, and pink in these. And then I did yellow to go with the theme for handouts. And like, I'm going to take these out and fix all of this. But I just left it so I can show y'all. And then paper. And that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably leave these at home, these notebooks, and just file stuff that I need here. Because I really don't, like, I don't use my notebooks in, in, when I'm at school because I have, like, classes back to back to back. So I really don't have a study period. I think I have, like, an hour break at lunch. So I'll probably just take the to-do folder, not this one, the to-do folder, like this one right here, and just put all the stuff that I need to put in here. And like I said, see, this one coordinates with this. It's not the same purple, but... It coordinates with that one. That one, like, coordinates with geology. Whoops. Geology. And things like that. And this, like I said, all this is right here is construction paper. And then I took, I mean, this is, this is scrapbooking paper. This, um, piece sign. This right here, this orange, that's construction paper with whatever font you want from that, um, website. And then I just put it through the printer and then cut it out, which that's not straight, but, and you put that on there and then you just glue it and that's pretty much your divider. And then you just make these in, in Word, you'll just put like 72 font or 48 font and then you just hit enter until it comes to about halfway down. And I think like four and a half, five, five and a half, somewhere around in that range is halfway depending on what font you use. And then I just put font there, and then I just put this in there and hit print, and it printed it on there, which I'm pretty sure any of y'all can figure that out. But just in case you couldn't, that's how I did that. And that's pretty much it. And then this one, like this one kind of is, you can see where it's pieced together, the psych one. Because this right here is actually paper, because I didn't have any zebra print. Um, just, I mean, not construction paper, but scrapbooking paper. So I just took a big picture from Google. I found a zebra print picture and put it on Word and stretched it as big as I could with the .5 margins, not the one inch, but the .5 margin. So that way it's really small. And then I just cut this out, like this whole square. I made it the big one. And then I just pieced together ones right here. I mean, it looks good enough for me. But, I mean, I'm just using them for going back to school. It's not anything fancy. But... And then that's, I don't know what font that is, but that's one of my favorite fonts. But, that's about it. And, if y'all, you know, if y'all do anything like this, or if you like the ideas, let me know. Because, like, some of this, and like this right here, that's the same thing I did. I created this in Word. I just took, oh, there's a glare. But, I took the zebra print picture, and then put a black border around it. 
I like I put it in a text box, and then I put the picture on it, and then put a black, they like, like made the text box black so it would outline it, and then I took a shape, went to the shapes, put a, uh, a oval there, and put it black, and then put in color the name of the classes, which you can't really see, but put it in color and then whatever font I wanted. And I did the same thing with that one. And this one actually has a blue tint to it because that's the folder. But I did the same thing with that one as well. But if y'all, you know, if y'all make these videos or y'all like it, let me know. I would, I'll probably make another one soon of how to use OneNote because that's actually, let me come over here. That's actually what I take my notes in. I don't do them by hand. 